NATO and Ukraine to hold emergency talks after Russia's attack with new hypersonic missile. Associate, Ed Press. NATO and Ukraine will hold emergency talks Tuesday after Russia attacked a central city with an XP. Rimental, hypersonic ballistic missile that escalated the nearly 33-month-old war. The conflict is entering a decisive phase, Poland's Prime Minister Donald Tusk said Friday, and T. Acting on very dramatic dimensions. Ukraine's parliament cancelled a session as security was tightened. Ed following Thursday's Russian strike on a military facility in the city of Dnipro. Below are your comments. One of two things must be true. Either the Biden administration believes Russia is bluffing about escalation or are they welcome Russia to do it. Frankly I don't know which is more concerning. I remember the Soviet Union supplying huge number of anti-aircraft missiles with their army at the sea. On trolls during the Vietnam War. I guess that was okay to be directly in the war zone at the helm. NATO and Ukraine to hold emergency talks after Russia's attack with new hypersonic missile this is th. E very situation that President Trump warned about and suggested that Europe, NATO nations increase t. air defense spending to the level that the the nations agreed to when they. That was only a measly 2% of their GDP. Combined these nations have a dollar amount about equal to the dollars of US GDP. But only a few of them took that suggestion seriously. Now with war knocking on their door they found themselves totally unprepared. But hindsight is 2020, so maybe they will now take it seriously and prepare before the missile star. TS flying to their nations and not just at Ukraine. The Russian ruble is being destroyed. In the past, the Russian central bank was able to stabilize the currency by pumping billions of Ameri. Kin dollars into the Russian banking industry. The question is what happens when the financial reserves, like the dollars, are exhausted. Red warning lights are blinking all over the Russian economy, including things you normally don't hear. They are about, like severe labor shortages. 73% of Russian enterprises are only partially staffed, which means the labor costs are increasing in. De-inflation is accelerating. Firing Western-made long-range missiles into Russia isn't an escalation? But Russia firing back in retaliation of Western long-range missiles into Russia, with a new, never used missile, is escalation? Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.